malaki ang pagkakaiba noon kaysa ngayon? Ibang-iba po ngayon dahil ito po mga hinubog namin ay mas dumaan po sa tamang uh, training po. I'm ready for Tyson. Handa ko mamatay para sa bayan. Alis po maiyak ako dahil po ang ira po nung training. Titignan ko nga hanggang saan yung lakas namin. Hindi lang pangangatawan, pati yung kaisipan. Sobrang hirap po talaga yung hindi ko po nadaanan dati. Nadadaanan ko po dito ang lahat. Parang na culture shock po ako. Doon po kasi hindi ko po naranasan yung ganun eh. Dito na po talaga sa training camp. Pero right after the training, kitang kita yung mga pagbabago. And yan po tayo maglingkod ang karahatan ginagawa para sa kanya. Every weekend, I will go to Beijing with my dad's private jet. My dad got mad at me because I wrote my name at the Ferrari. We are supposed to go to Disneyland, but our pilot is late. Damn. <laughs> Para sa akin, Shoutcaster, commentator ka ng isang esports match. Sabi ako, matigas ako magsalita. May ibang casters, wala silang Tagalog. May iba naman, walang English talaga. Manjin? Ganyan din ako. Wala yung nangyari. Oh no! Oh, no, naubos sila. <laughs> Grabe nga yun.
malaki ang pagkakaiba noon kaysa ngayon? Ibang-iba po ngayon dahil ito po mga hinubog namin ay mas dumaan po sa tamang uh, training po. I'm ready to die, sir. Handa ko mamatay para sa bayan! Alis po maiyak ako dahil po ang ira po nung training. Titignan ko nga hanggang saan yung lakas namin. Hindi lang pangangatawan, pati yung kaisipan. Sobrang hirap po talaga yung hindi ko po nadaanan dati. Nadadaanan ko po dito ang lahat. Parang na culture shock po ako. Doon po kasi hindi ko po naranasan yung ganun eh. Dito na po talaga sa training cup. Pero right after the training, kitang kita yung mga pagbabago. And yan po tayo maglingkod ang kalahatan ginagawa para sa kanya. Every weekend, I will go to Beijing with my dad's private jet. My dad got mad at me because I wrote my name at the Ferrari. We are supposed to go to Disneyland, but our pilot is late. Damn. <laughs> Para sa akin, Shoutcaster, commentator ka ng isang e-sports match. Sabi ako, matigas ako magsalita. May ibang casters, wala silang Tagalog. May iba naman, walang English talaga. Manjin? Ganyan din ako. Wala yung nangyari. Oh no! Oh, no, naubos sila. <laughs> Grabe nga yun.
Gandang gabi at nasa pangalawang araw na tayo ng exhibition match brought to you by CCE, the Collegiate Center for Esports at Calm Letter, featuring the best of the best in college sports. I'm Miguel Chang at gusto kong ipakilala ang ating mga manlalaro ngayong gabi. First player we have Fan Yu coming off on a loss against Dami Kuntapay. But next naman, we have a new challenger. It's Michael Ariel, studying business management at San Sebastian College. His heroes are Gison and Granger. At tara na para sa game 1 ni Fran Yu versus Michael Ayo. Magandang araw sa mga mahal naming manunood. We welcome you once again dito sa ating exhibition match brought to you by Collegiate Center for Esports. Of course, organized by Calm Network. We are your casters. I'm Shibu with one for and I with my partner, Kristen. Okay, very very exciting kasi we have two heavyweight players competing in this exhibition match. Sino-sino sila? First. So, ito, we have Bas from Bastel. So, we have Michael Bastian. Are. Ay, okay, oh. Michael Are. So, we have Michael Are nag-aaral ng business management. And we have Fran Yu from Letran. So, nag-aaral siya ng, I think, entrepreneurship? Uh, marketing, I think, no? Or marketing management. Marketing. I'm sorry. Yata, I think he's rolling marketing eh. Um, uh, yun yung nabalita ko sa kanya. I think one of the most popular players then uh, actually. Kasi si Fran Yu, ano siya, noong 2019, if I'm not mistaken, is siya yung parang varsity player sa NCAA. Mm, so, okay. talagang... Maigay sa pang sa tayong atong si Fran. May following din eh, no? Uh, kumbaga, especially with the highlights that he has provided competing on NCAA. And what we have here, first up, would be Fran Yu. He's gonna be rolling with an Esmeralda. Okay. Okay. Uh Oo. -oh. Um, ma maaga ka agad ito, ha? Of course, considering it's gonna be Michael Ari naman, we've seen him actually compete on another exhibition match. Victorious at that one as well. 1-1 one -one ang itatapat niya dito sa Esmeralda. We're gonna be spawning into the land of dawn. Simulan na natin to. Again, itong laban na to, hindi lang ito isang laban na magaganap. This is gonna be a best of three series. This is just game number one. Win conditions would be securing the first three kills. Sa atin, oh, kung umabot man sa putong walang kill, mabasag yung base ng kabila. Let's go. Esmeralda 1-1. What are your thoughts? Initial thoughts lang sa ganitong klaseng matchup. So, parang ito yung kanina eh. Mm. We have a mage and uh -huh. a range. Mm -hmm. So, but the thing is, with an Esmeralda, meron siya nung shield. Uh Oo, -oh, yes. But I'm not sure kung magiging enough ba yun para protectahan siya in the early game. Yes. Kasi number one, itong si Wanwan, -Wan, meron siyang pang stun. Like, ngayon lang. Mm -hmm. Stun na. Mm -hmm. so, I'm not sure kung magiging effective ba ang shield ng isang Esmeralda for this match. Yes, considering the first skill. Um, there is consistency though on the damage coming in mula sa 1-1. Kasi ano naman eh, range nga eh, di ba? Pero let's evaluate the tail of the tape then between these two. Um, you did mention the matchups, of course, on the idea of a range versus the melee. Now, how good of a range it is and how good of a melee Esmeralda is for the range actually compared dun sa nasilip natin na Leslie, no? Ang 1-1, maikli ang range, sa totoo lang. Pero it is exchange for the mobility that she has, di ba? Oh, oh. At the same time, lalala mo yung game kahapon na kung saan ginamit niya yung Hayabusa. Mm. Meron siyang shadow kill. Eh, ito, meron siyang, ano pangalan nung... Ah, uh, crossbow of dang. Crossbow Yon. of dang, so, yes. So, parang ganun din yung skill. Oo, oh, eh, umaangat din siya eh. Kung baga, meron siyang frame na hindi siya pwedeng targetin. And, at the same time, siya yung damage sa sa'yo without stopping, di ba? Ang problem lang dito, yung crossbow of dang, exclusive sa heroes. Yung Ogi Shadow Kill Pati sa minion, kalaban minions kalaban mo. Kalaban mo. So, so, actually, mas maganda ang focus sa damage dito ng crossbow of dang. Although, mas mataas talaga ang burst scaling ng Hayabusa. Hmm. So, ewan ko, ah, nakakatawa dito, Chris, si Michael Ari, yung preference niya. Gusto niya talaga yung mga nawawala. Oo. Uh -oh, Pero bumabanat pa rin. Oo. Uh -oh, ma- <laughs> Michael Ari. Hindi ba? Tapos, eto, um, again, let's go back on the topic of how mini is this Esmeralda. Kung mobile na short range ng konte, itong range hero that is 1-1, yung Esmeralda naman, kahit gano'n ka ka-mobile, medyo madali ilan yung spell niya. Eh. Sa totoo lang. Ikot lang. Ikot lang. Uh -huh. Pero the thing is, meron siyang... Movement si speed eh. Michael Ari, meron siyang built-in purifier. Eh. Yeah, so kahit oh. walang pumasok ng Esmeralda, eh, walang magagawa to. On the, ano, uh, on the tiger ng mm -hmm. uh, ating 1-1, uh, no? And ayun nga, eventually nakakataka siya kay Fran Yu kasi hanggang dun lang naman yung movement speed na available sa shield ng Esmeralda, no? Tuloy pa rin si Michael Ari, Ari on kiting back. Ang problema lang, yun na nga, lumapit si Fran Yu, hindi niya kaagad na tansya na ah, magiging available yung crossbow of tang. Eto guys, ha? Kung gusto ko lang sabihin sa inyo, I'm no expert of course for Mobile Legends, pero I do know that one of the best ways to play against a 1-1, wag mo ibigay yung stacks niya. 
Mm-hmm. Wag mo pa kumpletuhin yung marks para makapag-cross bomb tang siya. <laughs> May post pa tayo. <laughs> <laughs> Pero the thing is with a one-one, medyo mas tricky siya ipaproke eh, yung ultimate niya kasi kailangan mo i-hit lahat ng points. Unlike with Pati the Hayabusa, go lang eh. Go lang, go lang talaga. Uh, that's the thing, no? Um, now we go back. Pansin ko ah, kaya yung stand ng Esmeralda yung damage ng 1-1. Yung auto-attacks ng 1-1, no? And not to mention may shield pa, yung Esmeralda. Actually, may init kunat din yung Esmeralda. So, para sa akin, malaking factor yung defensive itemizations dito ng Esmeralda. Pero will it be enough kapag masakit na masakit na itong si Michael si Mike, Are? Ah, uh, uh, yun din eh. Yun din yung curiosity ko eh. Kapag nag-scale na si Michael Are. And remember here na naka-retribution siya. Mm. Diba? If it's a retribution, isa ang signal sa akin ng retribution eh. Not to mention yung emblem niya is the one that enhances the items. Ibig sabihin, ang hinahabol ni Michael Ari dito is really scale into that late game to the point na magiging helpless yung Esmeralda. So, this gives Fran Yu a window to capitalize against Michael Ari's 1-1 in the early game. So, yan, like Falling Star Moon, of course, he's still within the range. Pero bantayin natin ha. Buti na lang walang first kill. Yung dalawang marks sa likod, di pa rin tinamaan. Umikot dito si Franyu. Willing siya. Baka mga crossbow of tank. Actually, isang baba lang sana ni Michael Ari. Pwede niya makuha yung crossbow of tank. Pero hindi niya kinuha yung final marks. Not to mention, ang kunat na ngayon ni Franyu talaga. So, ang laking tulong talaga ng shield niya ngayon. Oo. Uh, uh, the way I see it, uh, Curse. Iniisip ko kung kailangan magtang yung items ni Franyu dito. Pero the way I see it, kahit ano lang pala, mobile, mo- mobile na ano, Magic damage item. Okay lang. Um, may naisip nga ako ay sobrang wild. Ano? Ice Queen 1 ka. Para pang slow? Pang slow lang. Although, yes, may dashes. Ganon. Pero ewan ko kung, kung gumagana. Wild lang na idea, guys, no? Um, Siyempre, kung, kung pinaka-safe talaga, al- alam mo pinaka-maganda. Blood Wings. Para Kaya, masakit. Oo, health. Wala tapos, na. ano, makunat ka na, masakit pa, di ba? Kasi it also provides health, ah. Di ba? Mm-hmm. Yung Blood Wings, eh. Pwede rin nga Holy Crystal, eh. Pero ang safe yata dito para sa akin is Calamity Reaper. There you go, may Calamity, calamity Reaper, Reaper nga. Calamity Reaper, nalig ka na. Oh, kasi the, the thing about the Calamity Reaper, it's cheap to build. Mm-hmm. It's still efficient. Ang problem lang, madali makait yung Calamity Reaper. Pero yung burst damage niya upon diving, ano ka eh, Falling Star Moon auto attack. May Calamity Reaper proc yun. After nun, ikot ka, may auto attack ka ulit, may Calamity Reaper na naman yun. Got the shield, may Calamity Reaper na naman yun. Pero wag naman sunod-sunod. Pero if you sequence that properly and type it uh, steadily, ang taas ng damage mo kay, ano, kay Michael Ares. So, sa ngayon talaga, guys, eto ah, sabihin ko na sa inyo, etong si Fran Yu, lamado siya ngayon kay Michael Ares. Merong hinahabol na oras si Michael Ares and that is the late game. Sa late game pa talaga magsashine yung 1-1. Tignan na, curious tuloy ako, paano kaya ito? Sino talaga mananalo dito sa dalawa, you know? Alam mo, from the last game, ito si Michael Ares, talagang ginagawa niyong point na maging umabot siya sa late game eh. So, I think for this one, papaabutin niya rin around 10 minutes para nang sumakit siya eh. Mukha nga, oh. Okay, nagkakas ng Falling Star. Pinabutan, men. Pero yun lang, hanggang doon lang. Yun lang, may built-in petrify nga ka. Oo, uh, oo. Uh, may, ah, uh, kumbaga. Actually, ang may uh, petrify si, ano, Ay, si... Ay, purify. Purify. Oh, purify, magka-rhyme. Magka-rhyme, purify, petrify. Ah, uh, petrify. Ah, magka gusto, gusto ng crossbow of tongue ni Michael Ari. He gets the kite. Bakit di niya nakuha ka agad? He was dancing around. He was trying to get the last two marks uh, para lang makuha yung crossbow of tongue. His ultimate, pero not gonna be there. And Franyu is up ahead with one kill. This is good para sa Esmeralda natin, ha? Alam mo yung magandang nangyari kanina, yung usually kapag hindi Esmeralda ang kalaban mo, kung tas ikaw si Wan Wan, kanina mabubuhay ka pa eh. Pero mm-hmm. the thing is, with an Esmeralda, lumalagpas sa shield yung damage eh. Mm-hmm. Kaya namatay doon si Wan Wan, pero mm-hmm. kung hindi si Esme yun, buhay siya. Ah, uh, 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 <laughs> so sa ngayon, sa ngayon talaga guys, ang ganda. Hindi ko lang alam, hindi, hindi ka agad na-convert ni Franyu yun, yung, ano, yung uh, lead niya against uh, Michael Ari towards a turret push. Pero ito na lang, uh, I think yung energy shield majority was really onto the hands of uh, Franyu right here. Michael Are, upon, re- upon uh, recalling at pag-uwi din. Okay, nakuha niya yung crossbow of Chang. Yup. He went for the tower dive! Wow, actually. Okay, okay. Oh, that's good. Uh, actually, in- pin- pinalag pa yun ni uh, Franyu. And it was really good. A-, a very, very surprising yet steady comeback and swing para dito kay Michael Are of San Sebastian. Biglang pumili si Michael Ari, no? Parang wala si The Item dun, eh. Ah, Ay, hindi. Kasi kanina, nagkaroon na siya ng Demon Hunter Sword. DHS, okay. Oh. So, uh, he was dealing up DHS na already with, ano, no? With oh, the Franyu. Oh, kaya ano kanina. Oh, may health shred din yata yun, eh. Kung di ako nagkakamali. Pero, ayan, guys. Ang nakatulak pa ng tawag, eh, Was Michael Ari. So, man, um... 
Tough, sit- tough situation na. I-, I wanna really see the items here. Ma- maya, maya, malalaman natin. May lead ba naman si Franz? No? Pero tingnan mo sa gold. Kahit ang naka mm. retri is itong si Michael Arif. Pero with the gold lead, we have Fran new Fran na new pa rin. Yeah. Eh. Yes, yes. Um, I- I- so that should reflect onto the items, no? Mm-hmm. Should be one component item ang kakalamangan dito ni uh, Fran new. Yan ko lang na-realize, naka... So, Petrify yon no? Okay. Oh, Combo the Petrify. What's to hold on? Oo, ang problema nga yung second skill. Crossbow of Dang. Shield. Okay. Get si second onto the shield. Buti na lang, no? Not within the execute range. Pero ang dangerous pa rin. Holy Crystal, no? Oh, Promise. Holy Kung na, nag-mag-Holy Crystal to si Franyo, kaya niya i-burst down siya, no? Okay, galaari. Oo. Oh, oh. oh, ayun! <laughs> Muntik na siya yung ma-burst down nung purple. Oo, oh, pero na. ayun, nag-Holy Crystal na rin. <laughs> <laughs> Ngayon ko lang na-realize yung emblem lang ni Franyu. Doon na ako Naka siguro magic may pass. Naka magic em- Kung mage emblem sana to. Kanina pa siya nagka-holy crystal. Oh, yung level 20. Kung ano to, uh, mystery, mystery shop. Oo, oh, 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 kaya if you went with the... Uh, kahit burst nga lang eh. Pero, ayun o, oh, kahit burst sana with the impure range or magic worship. Pero online na si Michael Are. Bakit guys? DHS yung sinasabi nating item. ba diba, kanina? Um, curse. Pero DHS yun na improved ng emblem. Oh, diba yun yung emblem na... Meron kang heal depending on your damage. Yes, yes. And oh. the movement speed oh. as well. Oh. So, you know, the more damage that you deal, the easier to get those heals down. And sa totoo lang, ang ta- ganda rin ang control ni Michael Ari dito. Fully capitalizing the pack race range is now removing the shield with the Halberd Bautista, ladies and gentlemen. The Heaven's Halberd. Ay, the Sea Halberd. Heaven. Sea Halberd. <laughs> Pagkarinig ko na sinabi mo, yun. May apelido. May apelido. <laughs> Halberd, Halberd. Yung kasi Halberd tawag Bautista, ni, ni goodbye. Mandy, no? And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. As we crack the joke, that's gonna be the third kill there by Michael Are with the re-engage from Franyu, winning this game number one para dito sa ating exhibition match. Congratulations sa player natin from San Sebastian. As always, mainit pa rin, Michael Are. No? Now, let's look into the post-game, ladies and gentlemen. As you see, that the item here, very easy to solve for Michael Are. He's building up regular spear here and also another physical attack dagger. Pero the DHS and even the Sea Halberd should be enough. Talagang kinounter, kinounter niya si Esmeralda no? with the Sea Halberd yes. and the DHS kasi alam niyang malaki yung buhay and buhay, malaki yung shield. region of yung capacity ni Esmeralda. Yeah, oo. Oh, and uh, again, by the side, si Esmeralda relies a lot onto that shield. Eh, yung ano eh, yung anti-heal affected din kasi yung shield nun. So, so do, 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 that main passive ka agad ni Esmeralda instantly is impacted here by the Sea Halberd. Wise itemizations is always shown here by Michael Are on the fact that the game was led earlier by this Esmeralda. This is so surprising. I'm really looking forward how Fran you will adjust. I think he did realize that they've already touched the late game already. Mm-hmm. Kaya naman parang binigay siya na rin in a way, no? Kay Michael Are. But what if we tap onto another ga- uh, game and see how Fran you will adjust against dito sa pambaro ng San Sebastian si paring Michael Are Ladies and gentlemen that is game number 1 We will be heading forward para dito sa ating game number 2 Walang iba mula sa exhibition match brought to you by the Collegiate Center for Esports and of course organized by Cam Network Kung nanalo na nga po si Michael Are mula dun sa ating game number 1 rolling with a massive win there from the 1-1 against um, Fran News Esmeralda. This time, we have two monkey heroes actually being rolled here. Same and mirrored heroes pa mula dito sa ating mga players. Sun, that's the name of the heroes. Once again, Michael Are versus Fran New, game number 2. Let's go. Ito nakakatawa, Kersa. 1v1 tayo. Or is it? Is it? 1v1 kasi, kasi nagiging 3v3 Oo Depende na lang kung sino may mas maraming unggoy Oo, oh, oh, depende sa cooldown reduction nila Or <laughs> depende kung sino mas magaling mag-clear eh Ay, Ayan o, oh, summon sila ng sarili nila Oo, oh, ayan o oh, oh. It's, it's ano, 1v1-ception 
It's kumbaga, Kagibunshin technique versus Kagibunshin technique. Oh, kumbaga, you always see a, you see a reflection of yours struggling. Pero ang difference dito, yung isa naka-execute, yung isa naka-inspire. Yon, that's the key difference kagad pag tinignan natin sa uh, kanilang mga tabs. Not to mention, their chosen emblems as well. Brand you is actually rolling with physical emblems here, whereas you have fighter emblems naman. The Festival of Blood para dito kay Michael Ari. Balog mo, paluan sila. Di ko nga makita kung sino yung tunay sa hindi. Pero ayan mga kaibigan, we got Michael Ari stepping up. For a moment there, nag-1v1 sila na naging 3v3 na naging 1v1 ulit. So we have, we have Michael Ari stepping up. I, I do expect this, sa totoo lang, friend, because um, naka-retribution siya. Not to mention... Okay. Execute. Ay, sorry, oh, sorry. Ay, execute naka-execute siya. Not to mention, naka-festival of blood. blood. So, ngayon, yeah. mas may advantage na itong si Michael Ari kasi sa Festival of Blood, so meron na siyang mas maraming uh, region. Yes, or yes. Or lifestyle. Oo. Uh -huh. Ito, mayroon akong ano, no? Um, obviously, nakikita niyo po ngayon, two heroes fighting each other. Also, want to emphasize as well that uh, they're using a hero which has the capacity to clone, send clones. Kumbaga, send fake copies of them. To the point that you can outplay someone. Pwede mong utoin yung kalaban na by, uh, yun nga, sending a clone, no? Pero, do you know na pwede mong malaman? Madaling malaman kung clone ng isang son o hindi. Oo. Oh, yeah. uh, para sa akin, alam ko. Pero yeah, para no. sa mga tao. So, it's actually sa mga viewers natin, uh, lalo na to those who are uh, still not yet in the know of that, is to... To spot who is the fake from the real one, titingnan mo lang yung mana. So ayon, um the clone will always have a full mana po, guys. No, whereas the real one will always have reduced mana. Kasi nga kila sa yung clone using mana. So hopefully ma ayos to ni Munton. Eto ng update na to. Well, nagiging popular si Sun pero mas lalo pa sa na siyang iinet kung ma ayos yung ano yung giveaway na to. Ayan o, full mana. Full mana kahit. Wow. Yung sun eh. And sayang, hindi na susulit yung ano, yung parang outplay or mind games factor na pwedeng i-offer ng ganitong klaseng hero just because of the illusion si provide, no? So, madaling nakikita ang illusion sa panahon ngayon. Alam mo yung maganda kay sun? Yung merong yung physical damage nag-i-increase or yung physical death na di-decrease kapag tinatamaan ka ng clone. Ah, yun. Oo, yun talaga. Ano yan eh? Kumbaga, si San para ka nakipag sa isang may white knight. Nagkakaroon ka na nga. So, what do you think is the best way para manalo? Nangihina ka. Haters. Ganon. Well, um, to be direct, Sun versus Sun kasi. Kasi yung buyan lang sila. Oh, you'd have to consider kung ano yung impact nila. Actually, nalilito nga ako kung tama nga ba talaga yung DHS by increasing the attack speed. Well, it does increase the attack speed of your other Suns. So, siguro that could be one. Pero maraming way. Pwede ka nga mag-curse helmet, you know, if you want to be creative. Para lang may burn. May burn. Oh, di ba? Mga ganun. Basta ang punto, ang punto po dito, guys, you want AOE. Gusto mo mas creative pa. Winter Trancho, no? Di ba? Hahaha. Ito yung favorite ko so, na ano eh, item, Winter Trunchon, kahit sino. Ay, hindi pala Winter, ah, uh, yun, Winter Trunchon, kahit sino. O kaya mas creative, para talaga nagpapaloan sila, ah! hindi ka mapansinin. Lightning Trunchon ka pa, o oh, diba? On the damage. Ganon ka na nga creative, ganon. Actually guys, sobrang uguya kasi nung laban. Pero kidding aside, kung ako, ako ako papipiliin, I would go for double down on damage. I would go for, either I would go on double down on damage or something balanced. For example, I would go for the Blade of Despair. Kasi ano yung medyo karera yung laban eh. Ako, okay, I think I would go for Wind of Nature. Nature. Ah, Kasi auto. Kasi ano eh, auto-attacks na mga ko eh. Tama, tama. Mas maganda ang Wind of Nature. Tama, tama. Or, ayun eh, ang iniisip ko din, Endless Battle. Something safe. Sabay so, uh, sila, kakibun siya check Yun na nga eh. May, may moment na yung 1v1, naging 0 versus 0, tapos naging 3v3 ulit, ladies and gentlemen. Pero still, it's gonna be Michael Ares stepping up and win against Fran Yu. I really doubt matatalo si Michael Ares just because of the Festival of Blood Emblem. Alone. Aww. Ayun lang, sa akin lang. Medyo solid ang Festival of Blood. Na Lalo na, naka-2 kills siya, tapos meron na siyang mas... I think it's, you add plus 5% or 8% ng lifesteal sa'yo. Oh. Every time you get a kill. Yes, yes. So, it's a stacking lifesteal eh. Oh. And when you're talking about lifesteal, the idea on lifesteal in any MOBA guys is that trade. No trade. Maka naman ka sa trade. Kasi you get, you, you get a kill, then nababawasan ka. Pero ito, you, want, you want an interesting fact. Do you know the term lifesteal? Alam mo ba na ang isa sa mga pinaka... Ito, ano ito, mythological stuff. Isa sa mga pinakaunang espada na may lifesteal galing sa Pilipinas. Talaga? Yeah. Are you familiar with the sword Chris? Chris? Oo. 
Three. Yung espadang nakaswing, yung parang nag-slither. Yun. So, so actually, there is that running lore uh, sa ibang mga epics na yung Chris na sword, which originated din sa, parang sa Pilipinas, Philippine mythology. It's a sword that can heal. It's a sword that can heal um, the wielder. As the more damage it deals. So, parang siyang sword na may lifesteal, no? Kung, kung, kung gusto mo naman, ano, example ng Chris, yung dagger ni Alexandra Dresser. It's actually a Chris. Uh, sword na nagsaswing. Pero ito, men, no Chris here. <laughs> Para sa kay Fran, you, kung sa paluan lang talaga ng tanod, lugi na ito. <laughs> Tama naman, o, oh, diba? Mga kaibigan, that's it. It's gonna be the emblem that will deliver it. Kasi, ano naman eh, si Nero eh. Hindi mo naman masabing Nero difference. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Ari of San Sebastian takes this game number two in this best of three series para dito sa ating exhibition. Rinay ni Franyo sabayan yung lifestyle. Bumili siya ng haas. Yung uh -huh. buka niyang pantayan yung DHS at yung festival. Uh -huh, pero, pero hindi ba lang niya na-try? Hindi talaga. Hula. <laughs> Naka-regular. Hindi, hindi naman component item yan guys. Pero mahapdi rin po yan. Regular spear. On to the arsenal mm -hmm. here of uh, Michael Are. Not to mention, ano eh. May attack speed ka na dun sa DHS eh. So talagang puro pukpo ka na lang yung mangyayari sa'yo. Hindi na kinailangan ni eh, Michael Are magpakunat. Sa totoo lang kasi ramdam niya na eh. <laughs> Ramdam niya na eh, lamang na talaga. And that's, uh, I think, one of the most dominating performance here of Michael Are. And interestingly, even in the totality of our exhibition match, Michael Are really stepped up big time. Ano kayo meron? Ano kayo meron sa Pertubasyon? Ay, wala akong masasabi siya. Feeling, feeling ko, batak wala. lang talaga si Michael eh. Ganun eh. Well, tropa niya naman itong lahat naman na kalaban niya dito sa ating exhibition match. Ladies and gentlemen, that should be it. Maraming siyempre mad props pa rin kayo, friend you of uh, Latran. Pero of course, The undisputed winner in our exhibition match. Walang iba once again, Michael Are of San Sebastian. It was an exciting set of matches showed to us ng ating mga players and maraming maraming salamat sa kalina. Maraming maraming salamat din sa inyo. Pero sa epre, this exhibition match, higit sa lahat, maraming maraming salamat sa Collegiate Center for Esports for bringing this to us and of course the Cam Network for organizing and mounting this event. We have been your guesters for this segment. Time should be the one for an eye. Of course, Chris. Well, let's head on to Miguel for a post-match interview. So, Michael, congratulations on your win. Kinabahan ka ba sa 1v1 exhibition match? Mm. Actually, po, ano, may pressure din po talaga sa akin. Eh. Pero hindi ko na, hindi ko na, ano, hindi ko na inisip yung pressure. In-enjoy ko lang po yung game. So, ano yung strategy mo in choosing 1-1 on your first game against Fran Yu? Ang strategy ko nung yung, uh, yung ginamit ko si Wanyans, yung uh, nag-retory nag ako, nag-retribution ako para makapag-farm din ako naman early game. Kasi uh, ang game po kasi talaga, 3 kills lang, kaya ma mananalo ko na. So ang, ini ang ginamit ko ng hero is ano, pang fast game na rin. Pero nag-farm lang din ako, talagang ayun yung advantage ko sa kanya. Okay, then second game, nag-mirror matchup kayo. Sun versus Sun. And you won. So may tips ka ba for Fran you when it comes to using Sun? Paras kami yung Sun nun. Tapos, hindi ko, di ko rin ano, in-spec na ayun yung gagamitin niya. Kasi alam ko, ay takot kasi ako sa Sun eh. Kaya papag ginamit ko yung Hayabusa, yung ganun. So, nisip ko magsa-Sun na lang ako. And ayun, nag nagparehas kami ng ginamit na hero. And ayun, ano. Mas gina mas ang pinili ko na emblem is uh, isikyot para mas mas ano para ma ano ko siya ma, mapatay ko po siya agad and nagpush lang din ako ng Tore and nag ano pinapatay ko lang yung creeps niya and nagpa-farm lang din ako. Ayun, maraming salamat Michael ah. Looking forward to your next game. God bless. Once again, I am with Fran Yu. Again, you brought out Esmeralda. Main champ mo ba siya yeah. or main hero mo ba siya or trip trip mo lang? Hindi ko siya main hero. Naisipan ko lang talaga siyang gamitin para sa early game. Tsaka mid lane lang kasi yung laban. So parang nakitaan ko siya ng advantage kasi malakas yung magic damage. Sino ba mga main hero mo? Uh, main hero ko si Mia tsaka si Alucard. Kasi Mia medyo mahirap sa one-on-one -on -one yun but... 
Mm-hmm. Game 2 naman tayo. Mirror matchup, Sun versus Sun. So ano sa tingin mo yung difference ng Sun yun? Uh, siguro yung naging difference lang nun is yun nga. Parang gamay ni Mike yung hero eh. Ako, tapon ko lang ata na gamit yun. Kaya ayun siguro naging advantage niya sa akin. May masasabi ka ba sa mga pwede mong makalaban in the future? Masasabi ko sa kanila, panalunin naman nila ako kahit isang beses. <laughs> Salamat Fran, you uh, ingat kayo dyan and God bless. Thank you. And that is it for tonight. Videos will be posted every Saturday and Sunday. And don't forget, in September, it's the first ever, first ever Invitational Varsity Cup of the CCE, the Collegiate Center of Esports. So once again, I'm Miguel Chang. Good night.